Uh, this is Greg Lee, aka Two Two. For everybody know me from back in the day, um, went to St. Martin Forest from '92 to '96. Uh, my man made him at a at a workout through a, a word of a friend, and I came out to uh, right by CVS. And when I first got there, I was like, "Oh, okay, okay." Man, I was still young, and I brought granddad with me. Also, got to do my workout. I was like, "Oh, I, I like this. I like this." Learned a whole lot, and then my experience was actually a very really good learning process. As far as learn how to steal bases, learn how to take up out the box. So that's why I chose to go with with Maiden. Because he taught a whole lot. Taught a whole lot. What had me be successful in my future as far as playing college baseball. So I played for Maiden in 1997. I was able to play in Puerto Rico, uh, Kansas City, Battle Creek, Michigan, uh, Florida with the AAU tournament. Most memorable one is always going to be the Puerto Rico trip. Always. I've been to Pittsburgh. I've been to Kansas City. Mm -hmm. I've been pretty much all everywhere. It was nothing but playing for Coach Maiden and the team. It was nothing but love. Nothing but love. The family that I picked up with teammates. And actually, we played against each other beforehand with the camaraderie. And majority of the players I played with with Coach Maiden were players that I've known back from my past of growing up. But my new friends and family, as I call them now, we're playing with Coach Maiden. They've been number of family and friends to me. So that's the one thing I did love the most about playing with Coach Maiden is that family background. And when the time that granddad passed, my same family reached out to me and looked after me as a family member. That's the one thing I love that Coach Maiden taught us as a team, that we're one family first, then we're ball players next. The competition with playing with Coach Maiden, on my level of intensity and how I played, it was easier sometimes, but challenging also to at times. But I had to learn to readjust my thought process. And I had many times where playing with Coach Maiden, I had to sit down on the bench a few times and he sat back and talked to me. And that's when I really learned the game of baseball. And I turned my my playing level up to a high level and learn the game of baseball first compared to going up to just playing the game of baseball. There's a, there's a huge difference between playing and learning and loving the game of baseball. Uh, Coach Maiden off the baseball field was a, was a very interesting father figure slash coach to me. I've always had granddad the whole time well, granddad and coach made teamed up together. Oh, that was a very experiencing thing with granddad and coach teaming up together. Well, my upbringing through coach Maiden's program. But anytime I need to talk to coach Maiden, he'll talk to me. I can call coach Maiden on the phone at 9, 10, 11 o'clock at night. Oh, the road trips are very, very fun and interesting. From the funny stories of me and a couple of my other baseball bucks we can tell, but cannot be told somewhat to some of the silly things we've done. But all the fun we had with traveling the road together, playing carpet, playing the PlayStation together, actually playing wiffle ball behind the hotel or playing wiffle ball baseball with a home run fence at CVS Field. It was very, very fun and very interesting. I remember the trip the bus broke down and in the beginning, I did have one of my little jap out moments and one-off moments, but the family hood and the family hood helped me to calm down. Because I'm a very structured person with my upbringing as far as military background. But it taught me to humble myself and understand that things can happen, but God always has a way to make things happen and push us through. That the, uh, with Coach Matt, the 40 years of baseball, I remember that good time we had at the banquet where it was his birthday. And it was his birthday. And I was there to actually, to actually do the prayer for the banquet. And the understanding and the connection me and Coach Maiden had together, though, it was his birthday, so I got to cut this slice. I got a chance to cut the slice of cake. And I shoved it all in his face. So that's how we knew we was family. And we had nothing but love for one another. And we sat back and we laughed all day long. I met the mayor with Coach Maiden, was giving our T-shirts and talking to press conference, everything. My whole experience with Coach Maiden has been one of the best learning and experiencing the process ever in my life. And I never, never in my life 
take that time apart and rewind them backwards. Ever. One thing I want to say to Coach Maiden that I always want to say to him, thank you so much for being a friend to my grandfather, but also teaching the moral values of what family means. And that should be a genuine original family. And I, I really appreciate that and I love that. He taught the whole thing of family. We spent so much time together. We learned to be family. Through ups, downs, anything. Going to war together. And the baseball game is really a war. Who going to blame first? But at the end of the day, somebody has to win. But also, you want to war with your family. Not with people you, you just don't know. So that would be my most memorable of things I always remember. And also, just hearing the general conversation between my grandfather and him together. Even when I left and went off to the service, they still kept in contact. They still stayed around one of them. Kept my grandfather still going while the way. He took over my part of being around and being there for my grandfather when I couldn't. I, I was, I'm very grateful to Coach Maiden to coming out and speak at my grandfather's home going service. And I know it was, a, it was a very, very rough situation there, but he came out and showed nothing but support. And his, his eulogy he gave impressive and very most heartfelt, which is very well needed speaking to the family, knowing that granddad, maiden, and I and the rest of the family spent so much time together but also speaking to his wife who also understand how much and also understood the connection that Coach Maiden had with Granddad, a.k.a. O'Nelly, had mm. with the rest of his family, meaning his, his baseball family, meaning his kids he also raised also. And to hear the words he said and that he spoke made her feel so hard with and so felt that she was comfortable with the work that O'Nelly did you know, the work he did for Maiden also for the rest of us. And that's the bonafide truth, though.